In this video, I'll be using Mac, and we'll be using Visual Studio and Xcode to create a basic UI as a CocoaS app in C Sharp. Okay, so first thing, need a new project. So uh, Visual Studio for Mac came out. I'm using the preview. Uh, so you want that installed along with Xcode. So given that you have that, I'm gonna create a new project. And you have your various templates for creating projects. And in this case, I wanna create an app for Mac. And there's the Cocoa app. So this will be a Cocoa app, next. Okay, give it a name. So this will be Demo Hello World. Okay, you can fill out your identifier and specify a target. Now I'll hit next. Okay, and I'll, you can use git and this git ignore stuff. In the case of the demo, I'm not checking it in, so I'll just turn this off. And by default, you can have the project in a subdirectory from the solution, or I like to just have it all together. All right, and then just hit create and you'll get the basic project here. Okay, so now Visual Studio has created the project. The place to start making the UI is on the main storyboard, so double click that and it should open Xcode. All right, so this is the default UI that it opened for me. Now things can get changed around quite a bit. Uh, up on the header, you have some buttons here. So I like this bar on the right because it has the properties to look at what controls I'm gonna look at, uh, add to the UI. And then this left nav over here has the project files that I'll need to add the UI integrations. Here we have our main storyboard. Uh, and then an important thing that's gonna come up is I'll need to use this viewcontroller.h and there's also a .m file. Okay, so with the storyboard selected, I think as you click on the different items in your project, they'll automatically open in this middle area. Okay, and this middle area, here we, here we have the storyboard. The place that we'll add the UI is gonna be towards the bottom. So if I scroll down, we have this view controller, and this is where we'll add the UI components. And for this one, I was thinking of just a label and a couple buttons. How do we add the UI controls on here? Well, I've I've got the right thing opened here, uh, but it might default to a view like this. Okay, so that part didn't matter so much as the section down here. And the object library is where you add components. And there's a search filter down here. So I'll just look for text. Okay. Um, and I can use just a static text label. So drag the label over here. Okay, and you can, it's a WYSIWYG editor. So we can just drag for how big the text area is gonna be. Okay, so now that we've dropped a label in, you can click on the label and over here, you want to see the attribute inspector. Here we go. And here's where you can give it a title. So title is what's on the label here. So we'll just start with, you haven't clicked the button. Okay. And then we'll resize it a little bit. Okay. And you can also adjust the font in size. So here's the font. We can increase the font size or decrease it here. Okay. So that's a label as a title and a font and various attributes. 
you can see in the inspector. Okay, so this was a label. Now I want a button. So if we use the filter down here, I want to add a push button. There we go. So you can just drag it to the view. Okay, I'll take a couple of them. Okay, now these have a title. Here we go, button. So we'll just call this button A. And this one can be button B. So what we'll do is when you click on button A, it'll change this text up here to say, hey, you clicked on button A. And I'll make this a little bit bigger so it can fit all that text. And when you click button B, it'll say you click button B. And to shoot, use some of the attributes, I'll have only one active uh, so that they switch between. Um, so you can see more scripting in C Sharp. Okay, so now that I've added something to the UI, I can hit Command S to save. And if I switch back over to Visual Studio, I can hit play. And this will build the UI and launch the app. Okay, so now we have our label and our two buttons. Right now they're not connected, so they don't do anything. So the next thing, the next thing we need to do is add some events to these buttons to hook everything up. All right, so Cocoa is a little bit different than Windows Forms, where Windows Forms would actually automatically bind these buttons. Uh, but in the case for Xcode, we need to expose these to the code manually. So that's going to require using the view controller interface. Uh, a lot of this stuff is auto-generated, but still you have to drag and drop and click in special places. So we need to have our main storyboard and the dot .h visible at the same time. Let's see if we can make this a little bit larger. Assistant editor. There we go. All right, so these double circles with the assistant editor, I can see the view controller and the storyboard. First thing, we need this, the dot .h open. So I can click automatic and switch it to manual and to the project name and select the view controller dot h. Okay. There we go. So there's our view controller. Looking at the dot H. Now select the user controller you want to expose. Hold the control key, click on the control, and drag it over. And we're going to insert an outlet. So an outlet makes the user control uh, accessible from the C sharp code in Visual Studio. That's what we want, so I'll let go of the mouse. And here you need to name your outlet. So uh, for me, I prefer to do an underscore M on my class data members. And we'll call this, uh, it's just uh, the label. Okay, and the type is just defaults to NS text field and say connect. There we go. And it automatically generated this property. So underscore M label will be accessible in C sharp. Okay, there's no events that I need on the label. So we're done with that field, I can move on to the button. So again, select the button, hold down control on the keyboard, click and drag the button and drag it over here to the code until it says insert, outlet, or action. So this is on the dot .h. 
and in this general area of this interface, we can see it says connect binding or insert outlet or action, and we want to insert the outlet. So I let go of the mouse, okay, and then we have to name our outlet. So this is underscore M, and then I want to call it a button, and it's the A button. The type defaults to NS button, and that's good, and you can say connect. Okay, so we've exposed so it's supposed to the button, but now we need to add an event that we can bind to so that when you click the button, it does something. So again, click on the button, hold the control key, drag it to this general area until you see the insert outlet or action, let go. And this time we want to make it an action. So this will be the click action, and I'll call it on click button A and connect that, and that'll write the objective C dash button thing. I like to organize this so that I'll cut this and put it after the property. That way our properties and actions are together. Okay, now I'll uh, command save, command S, and do the next button. So collect, select button B, push the control on the, or hold control on the keyboard, click and drag button B until you see insert outlet or action. Let go of the mouse and we need an outlet first. Call this underscore M button B. It's an NS button, click connect. I'll add the property. Do it again, select the user control button B, hold then control on the keyboard, click and drag. Drag until it says insert, outlet, or action. Let go of the mouse. This time it's an action. This will be on click button B. Click connect. Okay, and that exposes the action. All right, so we have a property for button A, property for button B. I'll just cut that and paste it after this one and copy the action. There we go. Now it's alphabetical and uh, save that. So Command S to save. And now we're done with Xcode. So let's just make sure we didn't break anything. Command tab over to Visual Studio. All right, so Visual Controller C Sharp was auto-generated when you created the project. The designer is generated any time that you modify the .h or the .m. All right, so if we switch back to Xcode, here we go, so this is our .h and we've exposed underscore M label, button A and button B. And if we look at the Visual Studio, it's created fields for button A, button B, and the label. And then also we have the, the two events for clicking on the button. And then it auto-generated this uh, release code here. Okay, so now if we wanna script the actions, we can just copy and paste these two partials for the on-click events and put that over in the C sharp. And since they're partial, they can also exist over here. They don't need the action attribute. And then instead of a semicolon, we can put blocks in here. And now we have a couple events in C sharp that we can make do things. So first of all, we'll go back to the designer to copy uh, some of the fields here. But uh, when clicking on the labels, want to make make sure, or when clicking the buttons, want to make sure that the label title is changing. So I'll copy the label field. Okay. So here we have the two events. We want to click on when you click, you get the event. 
and we want to change the label string value. So inside the block, when you click button A, I'll paste in the field label, and on label, there's a field called string value. There we go, string value, and then you just set it equal to a string. So we'll say you clicked button A, exclamation. And the same thing in the other event, M label dot string value, you clicked button B, exclamation, semicolon. All right, so that's a string and command S to save and hit play. That'll build the project. All right, and if we click on button A, it says you click button A, we'll click button B, it says you click button B. All right, and then command Q to exit. And let's do one other thing so that we're using the buttons. If I go back to the designer, I'll copy the button field. All right, so when we click button A, we'll set enabled to false, and then we'll re-enable button B. And then in the other event, we'll flip it around. So when you click B, we'll enable A, and we'll disable B. All right, save that, run it. All right, if I click button A, uh, okay, so enabled, the enabled field lets you control whether a button is active or inactive. So when it's inactive, you can't click on it. That way you can have options or something. This has been an intro into using Visual Studio and Xcode on the Mac to create a basic UI with a label and a couple buttons where you can script the events in C Sharp and you created the UI in Xcode. And Xcode is where we added the outlets and the actions so that you could script it in C Sharp. Okay, thanks for watching.